In this segment, we will demonstrate how to perform a foot and leg massage. All massages are enjoyable, but foot massages tend to be particularly relaxing. Clients look forward to this part of their pedicure, so perfect the techniques described here to make yours truly special. Rest your client's heel on a footrest or stool and encourage them to close their eyes and relax. Start by applying lotion, cream, or oil to the foot. With one hand, gently grasp the leg just above the ankle. With your other hand, hold the foot just beneath the toes and rotate the entire foot in a circular motion. The point of a pedicure massage is to help the client relax, so don't try to make conversation. Ask if the pressure is fine at the beginning and then try to avoid talking during the rest of the massage. A foot massage requires a firm touch, although not firm enough to cause pain. Firmness can prevent the tickling sensation that can make clients tense and unable to relax. Ensure your nails never touch the client's skin. Continue to hold the foot in one hand. Place your other hand on the dorsal side or top of the foot with the base of your palm behind the toes. Lift your fingers away so that only your palm is touching the skin. Applying gentle yet firm pressure with your palm and the heel of your hand to slide up to the ankle. Repeat this motion three to five times in the middle, then on the sides of the dorsal surface of the foot. Each time you reach the ankle, ever so slightly lift the palm to return to the start position. Keep one hand touching the foot. Slide the other hand into a new position with your thumb on the plantar surface or bottom of the foot and your fingers gently holding the dorsal side. Now, transition to the next movement. Slide your other hand to the same position on the opposite side of the foot. Move one thumb in a firm circular movement from one side of the foot, across, above the heel, up the medial or center side of the foot, to below the toes, across the ball of the foot, and back down the other distal side of the foot, ending in the original position. Now, move the thumb of the other hand in the same pattern. Make sure the base of your thumbs through to the pad of your fingers is touching the skin throughout the movement. Alternate these thumb movements in a smooth, firm motion, repeating several times. This is a very relaxing movement. Perform the same thumb movement on the surface of the heels, rotating your thumbs in opposite directions. Repeat this motion three to five times. Now, cup the top of the foot with one hand and make a fist with your other hand. Press the foot towards you with your cupped hand while twisting your fisted hand into the foot instep. This is a friction movement to stimulate blood flow and induce relaxation. Repeat this movement three to five times. The bottom of the foot is the only place you'll perform a friction movement during a pedicure service. Transition your hands to the toes. With your palm facing up, place your thumb on top of the little toe and arch your index finger underneath it. Holding the little toe, push your finger and thumb back to the base of the toe and then rotate your hand in a circular effleurage movement so that your thumb is on top of the toe with your index finger curled underneath it. Then, pull your finger and thumb toward the end of the toe. Repeat this movement on each toe. Hold the tip of the little toe and make a figure eight with it. Repeat this motion three to five times on each toe and then gently squeeze the tip of the toe once, then transition to the next one. Make sure you use sufficient lotion for this movement to be comfortable and relaxing. Repeat all the movements as many times as you wish, along with any other movements that you'd like to perform. Then repeat the entire massage on the other foot. To keep your client warm and relaxed during a foot massage, wrap the foot not being worked on in a dry towel. End all your massages with a traditional release technique called feathering. Feathering makes the end of the massage special, signifies to the client that the massage is ending, and provides a gentle release from the client. In one smooth transition, place both of the client's feet on the footrest or other stable surface and slide your palms to the top of the feet with your fingers facing the legs. Gently but firmly press your entire hands slowly into the feet. Do this three times, maintaining each press for one to two seconds. After the last press, lift your palms slightly but keep your fingertips touching the feet. Without letting your fingernails touch the skin, 
gently pull your fingertips towards the tips of the toes with a feather light touch. Then pull your fingertips completely off the ends of the toes. Perform this final feather off movement only once and then let the client relax for a minute or two before moving on to the next step of the pedicure. If your client is receiving a luxury pedicure, don't do the feathering off movement. Instead, slide your hands to the leg to transition to a leg massage after step nine. Place the client's foot on the footrest or stabilize it on your lap. With one hand, grasp the client's leg from behind the ankle. With your other hand, perform effleurage movements on the front of the leg from the ankle to below the knee. Move up the leg and then lightly return to the ankle. Do this five to seven times on the front of the leg and then perform five to seven repetitions on each side of the leg. Slide to the back of the leg and perform effleurage movements up the back of the leg. Stroke up the leg and then, with less pressure, return to the starting point. Do this five to seven times. Every pedicurist designs her own effleurage movements, but every routine must be relaxing and used consistently for every client. To end the luxury massage, perform the same feathering off technique described in step 10. Let the client relax for a minute or two before moving on to the next step of the pedicure.